Hello everybody and welcome to our new Kerbal Space program let's play. Well, let's call it Rocket Alchemy. Why not? <laughs> because, well, I am alchemist and, well, let's do it this way. So, well. As I once said, science is when you exactly know what you are doing. Alchemy is when you are just mixing everything together and uh, watching what happens. Well, Kerbal Space Program is sometimes much closer to alchemy. <laughs> So, yeah, we are starting from a clear save, and uh, that means some usual procedures, like the first launch. So, yeah, our only command pod for now, and let's just write on a booster, because you know who is the first pilot? Who <laughs> always is the first pilot? And, well, let's take one small antenna. Yeah, we don't really need anything more. Oh, it's possible to try do something with those parts, but without the stack separation I wouldn't do it well like, of course you can try explosive booster separation but <laughs> that's too careful <laughs> okay oh. how do we call it <laughs> well, what? Yeah, <laughs> I have no idea what to call this crap. So, oh. why not? Sky Dart. Because, well, it'll just launch it into the sky. And, wait a minute, did I forgot to uh, arrange the staging? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah, good thing I remembered it before the actual whipped off. Otherwise, yeah. Otherwise, well. And uh, while we are here, one of the options is to take EV report. Yeah. It's considered as flying. Well, why not? And then, well, we won't take Report from crew report from the launch pad this time, I think. Yeah, let's just fly. Or should we? Well, okay. Just because we need some science for the start. So, wow. More than half. Of electric charge? Yeah. Okay, let's go, Jeff. <laughs> Damn. What was that? <laughs> okay, Jeff. <laughs> you are not flying this time. <laughs> Sorry. Um, let's 
Well, the service is chest encoded with warned rocket failing. There are also trace amount of conspicuous green substance. <laughs> yeah, very interesting what it could be. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's recover this and launch it once again. <laughs> that was stupid. And uh, recover the craft. But on the other hand, we already got some data. So, yeah, I wanted to start with. Some funny booster, right? But yeah, the coupler that's what we'll definitely need, and also some more fuel tanks and the experiment pack, the first one. So, yeah, as you might see, I've installed a couple mods that just the procedure of fairings. Well, just look good. What can I say? And yeah, the next thing, yeah, <laughs> we like couple signs for un <laughs> to unlock this. But okay. Sorry for the technical problems, Jeb. We have remade some of the things and now we won't have this problem. On the other hand, we can do something better. So, yeah. What about a two stage rocket? Because we don't have small engines yet, well, we have we'll have to improvise a bit. I hope it won't vibrate itself apart. Yeah, because we don't have any strats yet. <laughs> well, well, well. Well, maybe we shouldn't attach it on top. Let's better do it this way. Let's say hope it's better this way. So mm, let's see the engine, click key and uh, oh yeah. Completely forgot. Well what can we do? Let's take four of those. And so, where will we use them? Well, let's see. Lower atmosphere, upper atmosphere, in space, and uh, the fourth one will be used after landing. Okay, that's good. Really good. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. 
sometimes staging does strange things. <laughs> but never had this one problem. <laughs> okay. Three, two, one. Ignition and lift off. I hope it's not too loud. <laughs> okay. Let's check. Absorb this character. We're good, Jesus and Gobbles in the craft world. Okay. We won't transmit the data because, well, it's just way so fun experiment maybe at this point. Also, crew report. No. <laughs> Do you want to swim today? Well, maybe you'll have a chance on the way back. <laughs> but let's transmit. And... Uh, okay. Let's see how this thing spawns. <laughs> well, actually, it may be possible to build them as SP1 and Jesus and the only one in the engine, but yeah. we are taking our first steps in this campaign and are not really sure what is the for the term. <laughs> so, taking a bit extra. Uh, it seems good. Okay. Let's start gravity. Yeah. Turn something so large with just reaction wheels. Really easy. But Without ongoing engine, we can do anything better. Okay. Let's put it in here. Let's check. Pre report? Yeah, apparently so. Transmit the report and absorb this thing. Yeah, it's sure it'll get installed here. So, well, let's see. Well, we should be <laughs> burning horizontal at this point. Just need some lateral velocity. Yeah. They're definitely in your seat. And if you think about it, well, it's actually literally riding on a barrel of fuel. One barrel of fuel. <laughs> and Jeff really likes such things. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, here was the code. And repurpose this. Yeah. Let's let it this way. Also, we might try one more thing. Yeah. EVA in the atmosphere on a quite simple suborbital trajectory. <laughs> yeah. You're starting to feel you should really get back into the ship. No, no, you shouldn't. <laughs> we are going up. <laughs> yeah. And as you might notice, in those crew reports and EVA reports, our one hundred percent recovery in one go. In no matter if you get it back or transmit it, so you don't have to do it second time. It won't give you anything. Uh, oh, yeah. And don't show again. Let's go as normal. Yeah. And uh, let's circularize our little orbit. Well, well, well. Uh, not yet, but yeah. 7180. We are officially in orbit. Yeah. You know how it is. I'm um, well, in USA and in Europe it counts as space flight when you reach 100 kilometers. In Russia <laughs> it's called space flight only if you get in orbit. So, yeah, <laughs> for yeah for Caribbean, the altitude margin is a bit lower, but you still need to get into orbit. <laughs> and well, crew report. It seems we are very much in space right now. The sky seems to be mostly below us. Yeah. What a strange feeling when you look down and see <laughs> the sky. <laughs> yeah. Or actually, let's transmit it. Yeah. Well. Observe mystery grew. Yeah, as you might notice, this isn't fully done in one go. So you may do it a couple more times to recover a bit more data. Yeah, the glue seems to have clumped into a sphere. It also appears to have become brittle. Well, it's probably frozen. Okay, let's keep this data and yeah, just EVA. Jebediah Kerman, report. Yeah, no fancy text this time. Okay, Jeb, go back. Well, we actually didn't have to put all those canisters on the pod because well, Jeb can get the experiment from the canisters and put it in the cockpit so there's no problem but okay we'll let it this way or maybe not yeah. Let's see where are we going. Uh, yeah, 
the thing is, unlike some other things, EV report, well, it does account for biomes below you. So, yeah, what's here? Oh, yeah, urban shore. As you see, another set of the data. At least in orbit. There's this link. Oh, let's go a bit further. We report grasslands. Yeah. Hey, Jeff. Why you don't have anything special to say? <laughs> And this, this considered anything else or... Oh yeah, that's Highlands. We also need this. Yeah. Just for now we will do one orbit and collect some data by going well, right here it doesn't seem to be much more else besides what we already looked. But, well, here should be some mountains. We are passing about some mountains. Are we? Zep? Yes. You see? Oh. Hi. Giant mountains. At least <laughs> compared. At least for Kerbals. And... Well... How tiny they look from here. But... Well... Do we have anything else here? Well... That looks like a desert. Doesn't it? Uh, yeah... Desert. So, well, I think we scanned everything you may find around the equator. Of course, there are some more biomes you can reach from polar orbit, but, well, let's. Let's finish this flight. So, we are going for gentle the orbit and uh, splash down not too far from uh, case. No. Gently. Yeah, let's go for this ocean <laughs> or whatever it's considered by Kerbals. Yeah. Zep. What are you doing? <laughs> um, this rocket is poorly controllable, but... Well, and it got pretty much fuel. Well, we could go for something more, but I don't know. Okay. 
okay. Well, we we didn't take any more scientific package <laughs> anyway. So let's just re-enter and go back home. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. For now. And well, let's set the timer off. We <laughs> start viewing some re-entry effects. Okay. Oh. How nice it looks. <laughs> yeah. It's getting hot here. Definitely. And that's our second stage. Well, rather a key re entry. But what about crew report? Oh, flying cover carbon spot. Why not? Don't need the data. And deploy the chipnet. I hope it doesn't do anything stupid. No, fam famous last word. <laughs> Let's see if I can cut the parachute and then repack it while we are falling. <laughs> of course, I won't do this. But. <laughs> Yeah. Well, what about some UV report from here? Yes. Flying over Kevin's water. Well, we are not really flying. We are just slowly falling. <laughs> Um, you can't see anything from here. Well, well, well. And hey, why did the camera go this way? But and we have stuff down. Well, observe the mystery goo. Well, the goo escapes into water. Well, well. <laughs> Very nice observation. I don't know why we couldn't do this just around the space center, but whatever. Crew report. Okay. And now... Let's do some EV report. <laughs> yeah, keep this. <laughs> it appears to dramatically increase the surface humidity of anything it touched. <laughs> well, that's water. Isn't this? This you can abort it normally. Sometimes 
such things <laughs> do not work. <laughs> yeah. I have cases when you that <laughs> exit into water and any attempt to grab the ladder again result just in careful jumping out. <laughs> but okay. The job is a better. <laughs> if he wants to go in, he goes in. And well, I'll cut the recording here, and in the next video we'll start some real mission. So, yeah, see you in a moment.